welcome back everyone. This is your proud plant babe Kelly and I am super excited that all of you guys could join us for today's video. Now today we have an amazing collection of plants that are super easy to care for, super accessible, and honestly I love them so much. I have some in my shelves that you can on my shelves that you can actually see right now but before we get there I want to show you these amazing people with amazing energy that they have. So Let's go ahead and go on in. Hello everyone, I'm the professionista or the black botanist. I am so excited to show you or do my reflex today. I was excited when Kojo asked me to actually join the series. Hey. Um, I am the professionista on YouTube with the black botanist on Instagram because I wanted a place to showcase my 40 plus plants here in my home. Today I'm gonna show you my favorite four. Um, and then let's go ahead and get started. My very first one is the um Bergo I'm sorry, polka dot bergonia. I just got her like two days ago. I love unique plants, and so when I first seen this, I was like, she's a must have. Just look at the oh, polka dots. I love the polka dots and the shape of the leaves. And she's actually sprouting some new babies, so that makes me very, very happy. Um, hopefully, she's around for a very long time. The second one is going to be the Alocasia Poly, probably for the same reason. She is very, very different in the shape of her leaves. I love the way that they come out. It's just so marvelous to look at. Um, this one's about a bit my, bigger than my hand, so if you want some scope, there's that. I got her for a birthday present. So that's why she's very, very special to me. The next one is my Birds of Paradise. She is almost five feet, if not five feet. We're we're about neck and neck here. So, um, yeah, she's very, very big. And I love her, too, because I love big foliage. I love, the, look at this leaf alone. It's bigger than my head. Um, so, yeah, she's amazing. My very, very favorite, favorite one of all of them is going to be my um, dumb cane plant. This plant baby here has been around the longest of the four that I gave. She's not the oldest that I have, but she's definitely old because um, she. I got her very early in my plant journey. Um, but I really love this plant. Look at that. She has grown tremendously since the first time I got her here. Um, the edges are turning a little bit brown, but I'm very prone to neglect and she's very, very forgiving. So I love her for that. But that is it. I have a lot of plants. So if you would ever like to see what I have, just check my Instagram, uh, The Black Botanist. And if you want to know the fashion side of me, um, follow me on The Purple Fashionista. Thank you. Hey guys. So Kojo reached out to me on Instagram and told me to show you guys some of my favorite foliage right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you three plants that I really love. So the first plant that I love right now is this variegated aluminum plant. I love it because not only does it have that typical raised silvery streak, um, but it also has these really pretty patches of cream variegation, which I just think are absolutely adorable. The second plant I'm going to show you is this variegated Hoya Carey, which I love for its really big, really thick, succulent, heart-shaped leaves and the beautiful variegation it gets. And of course, it's just a darling little leaf shape. Everyone seems to be super charmed by them. <laughs> and the last plant I'd like to show you is over here. It's my Macotis Patola, which is a terrestrial orchid. And I love it for its beautiful little lightning strikes on the leaf and how sparkly all of it is. It's just such an adorable plant and I really love it. I keep it in this little mason jar. <laughs> Thanks for letting me share you guys. I had to start this one off with my Calathea fishbone. Now this is one of my all time ultimate favorites right now. The reason being is because of this purple underleaf, the beautiful foliage that you're seeing on the top. Honestly, it has not given me any problems. Super easy to care for, very affordable, very accessible, just like my next plant that I have for you guys here. This is my rattlesnake calathea, the lancifolia. Super easy to care for, beautiful foliage, beautiful under leaves, and A-OK. -okay. Here is my calathea ready. Now this one I just purchased and I cannot get enough with it. It is already growing tall on me and it, it is just constantly growing. Um, I love it. Yeah. 
And my next plant here is my Begonia Maculata. Now, there was another one of our beautiful friends that had this one. And if they have it and I have it and someone else has it, you should have it. Because look at these stunning leaves. It is constantly growing. It has all these beautiful dots. And I can't get enough of it. Just make sure you rotate it if you ever do get it. So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hi everyone. I'm doing a leaf flex for Joe over at Kojo's Tropicals. And today I'm doing my pothos collection. Most common and tried and true queen is the golden pothos. And a variation is the mandula pothos. Here we have pearls and jade. She's so pretty. Okay, here we have global and emerald. Global, you'll see, has the light variation in the middle of the leaf and dark on the outside. And emerald, find a good one. There you go. Has dark in the middle and light on the outside. And here is my little sea boo boo. Happy little fella. My big, beautiful enjoy. And here we have what most call a silver satin pulsos, which is um, Skindasis Pictus Exotica. Here's my pride and joy right here. Possibly. Silver Lady, still not 100% on that. Thanks for letting me flex. Y'all have a good day. Thanks, Joe. All right, y'all, so that is all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you guys tune in. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and follow me on Instagram. This is your proud plant babe. My name is Kelly, and I hope to be seeing you guys soon. Catch you guys on the next episode. Bye.